Transform your home for less with ABC Blind's Spring Inspiration Sale. This is the Pete and Kimber Podcast. Good morning, Perth. Good morning, Kimber. Hey, good morning. Hey, Todd Bowler, former WA Police Group Tactical Response. Yeah, he was. he's quite the officer. Originally, we found him and chatted to him because he busted down the door of the Claremont serial killer. Chatting to him, oh my goodness, he mm. has got so many stories. Yep. The one he shares with us with us today was actually out of his usual routine. Yeah. Not a job that he normally did as part of the TRG. He negotiated a woman down from a building. It's such an incredible... We'll have you hanging on the edge of your seat, Perth, and it's coming your way. Pete and Kimber. Now, TikTok has brought many things to the world. I don't know if any of them are good. Do you know? Do you want you, you TikTok a bit? I just, yeah, I'm on the talk. You're um, on the talk. I, so, I like a lot of the like DIY, do the stuff around the house thing. Creators on there that have some really good like. Instead of using the chemicals, you should be using this oh. natural stuff, and they actually work. I mean, TikTok has brought us some pretty stupid things oh, God, over a yeah. long period of time. Like we had the blackout challenge where everyone was holding their breath until they passed out. Oh, that type um, of black. Meg challenge where they were drinking tablespoons of nutmeg in water and choking. Um, the milk crate challenge, you know, the stack of crates and everyone was running up. It's like a series of stupid people doing stupid things. Yeah. To a fun tune, usually. <laughs> I, I tried the milk crate challenge. Okay, the latest challenge. <laughs> yeah. The challenge ever. Ooh. The trust him challenge. Well, what's this? This is millions of women putting their safety at risk so that they can prove they trust their male partners. Mm. A woman stands in the middle of the road and her boyfriend will drive full speed oh, no. straight towards her to stop right before he runs her over. Yeah, well, this isn't a thing. Are you serious? There are millions of women doing this on TikTok. Then the women post <laughs> hashtag trust him with my life. Right now, it's absurd. So there's a woman in Australia who's done it, Emily Webb. I say she's an influencer or one of these people, mm. right? Uh, she is single at the moment, so she did it with a friend. He didn't drive at her at full speed. He, like, approached her gently, okay. let's say, right? Yeah. And she still fractured her ankle. <laughs> this you is, idiot. This is the kind of stupid stuff people are doing. This is her. Right, and, and listen that was slow to the, speed. And listen, to, car's got a hat. It sounds like a really beefy yeah, he's sort one of one of those like HSV things. Like, like honestly, this is the dumbest, saddest trend, and it actually makes me feel ill. Yeah. I, I just go, young women putting themselves in really dangerous situations for men. It is super scary. I'm like, if you want to trust him, this is the actual trust him challenge, ladies. Mm. Mm. Go to your partner and put this challenge to him. And if he says to you, I'm not doing that because I will not risk or chance your safety in any way, that's how you trust him. Right. The idea of going, you can try and run me over is the most ridiculous thing I've heard in forever. Do you want to do it? No, I don't <laughs> want to do it. Absolutely not. No, come on. I, I'll tell you what, dude. Actually, Don't no, yeah, let's go and do it. No, 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 I'm no, not going to do no, the no, challenge. Come on, come and do it. I've got an idea. I It won't. You have an idea. An idea. Do you try? Look at me. Look at me yeah, yeah. as your as your friend mm -hmm. and the guy who sits across from you every day at this yep. desk. Yep. Do you trust me? I've got an idea. Do you do, trust me? No, no. Do you trust me? I'm great at driving, Do Pete. you trust me? Do you trust me? No, do you trust me? <laughs> do you trust me? Would you come and, come and right, do something? let's go down to the street. We'll negotiate this. We'll see how it works. We'll We'll yeah, see how okay. This works no, tr out. Trust me, I've got an idea. No, trust me. You will like it. I promise. <laughs> I promise you. Dear Kimber. Dear Kimber, you can send your dear Kimbers to mix.com.au with any conundrum that you're dealing with. And we put it out to our mix listeners and just to get opinion, really, on what you might be able to do with your situation. Today's one's come uh, coming from Anonymous, and I can see why. <laughs> she says. <laughs> Dear Kimber, help! I found an engagement ring in my boyfriend's cupboard six 
months ago. <laughs> and she wrote six months ago in letters with an exclamation mark. Mm-hmm. Um, there have been so many times that would have been perfect for a proposal, including a holiday we went on. What is he waiting for? Do I bring it up with him or do I just keep waiting? Anonymous. Is okay. she sure it's for her? <laughs> what is- Uh, Look, I mean, straight up anonymous, you have to wait. There's just no other option. You are absolutely not approaching your boyfriend about a ring that you were never meant to find. You could be spoiling something awesome. And just, he's allowed to... If you want to marry him, ask him then. Actually, that's a great point. You know, I feel like, just be patient. If this person wants to spend the rest of their life with you and you want the same... What's the rush? I know, but the hard thing is here is that she's found it. You can't walk that back. So for six months and then until he asks, she's going non-stop. If she'd never found it, it'd never cross her mind. No, probably, but know? it's okay if it's on her mind non-stop because it might make her behave better. I've got lots of stories. Behave yeah, better? What do you mean? Because there are heaps of stories of friends and family who have told me where like, the day their partner proposed to them, they just happened to be having a bad day. Like, oh, we're on our way to... <laughs> That's and I was true. in a really foul mood and then, you know, and I snapped at him and then and then he proposed, you know, and everyone goes, oh, I was having, you know, these things happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because life happens. Yeah. Right? And there's lots of funny stories like that. And this, I've had friends who have behaved that way and then regretted it afterwards and yeah. gone, I don't know why I was so mean. But you, you still know? don't know that. But she's just, if she's, if you think that it's in her mind all the time now, she's just mm. always going to be great. Very well behaved. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's just always, yeah. she's going to be, if it's on her mind, or she just can move on from it. But you I'd, can't confront him. What are I, you going to say? I don't know if I'd confront him, but I'd be dropping hints. I'd be dropping hints enough to almost make him come to the conclusion she might get a move on here. And the, the reason being is because, again, she's going to be thinking about it nonstop. She's, she also, if she's like this, might be really bigging up the proposal in her mind. You know, like maybe she's starting to get to the point where she's looking ahead. Maybe they've got a holiday coming up and she's going, oh, God, it's going to be the holiday. No, now, imagine says, if they go. She's already said there have been so many times that would have been perfect for a proposal, including a holiday we went on. Well, maybe there's another holiday coming up. <laughs> What? Okay, let's talk about if she what confronts him, right? Yeah. If she legitimately says to him, hey, look, I found this ring, what should we do? Mm. If if she goes, I've seen, I've, I've found the ring, What what's he going to say? He's going, oh, okay, well, yeah, do you want to get married then? I mean, that's how it's going to come uh, out. If yeah. that's what you want in yeah, your life, you're go right. nuts. Yeah. But it's a weird way of doing it, I think. Yeah. Okay, we have to, we absolutely have to hear from people who've been in this situation because we need to know what happened. Should she do? She's found an engagement ring in her boyfriend's cupboard six months ago. He still hasn't proposed. Should she bring it up with him or she, she, should she just patiently wait? Mm. Michelle in Thornley, this happened to you? It did, Pink Kimber. Good morning. Good morning. I actually found not the ring back. In our bloody communal filing tray on his desk. <laughs> and it just... God, and, we're and stupid, it just... aren't we? That's oh, right. mate, I tell you, you're not the top sharpest tools in the shed. And then he proposed to me about four months later. So right. what did you do, Michelle? But, Were you just keeping it quiet? Yeah. And I was just so damn happy inside knowing that he'd made that step. It was going to happen when it happened. And I was just, I had the good girl pants on. His dinner was on the table. He had he was pampered until it happened. <laughs> I, I told you, that. Pete. I said she's going to be on her best behaviour. Yeah, she's dinner on the table. And- <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robin's in Valdivis. Robin, you've got some advice for Anonymous who's found this engagement ring. Yeah, like I said, I think maybe her partner bought something extravagant, something that she's had her eye on, and it might have been a bit out of his budget at the time, so he waited for it to go up. But once that ring was on sale, he bought it and he was like, great, now I'm going to wait for the perfect time, maybe towards Christmas or New Year's when she has all her family or friends when they have a big dinner party or something's happening. So I think Anonymous should just wait it out. Like you said, be on her best behavior, have those nails ready for that perfect picture. <laughs> I think she should just wait it out. <laughs>
So maybe that's it. Maybe do look ahead to something. Because I think for this, it's the great unknown. of If, if it didn't happen on the holiday, which we she spoke about, when is it going to happen? So maybe look ahead at the big things that are on the way. Maybe you can pick so, a time. I, just, I mean, I get it. It's exciting, right? I, but it's just like, you'll be okay. What's the worst thing? You know what I mean? Like, can't you just wait? Anonymous uh, has given us a phone call. Not the same Anonymous. Um, but you, you were in a similar situation. You found a receipt. Hi, yes, I I did. I found a receipt in May um, with a purchase. I put it down before I could read any more, but I know where it's from and I know that it specialises in engagement rings. <laughs> oh, you haven't, have you been proposed to yet? No. Oh, oh you're yeah. like still I'm waiting. I'm still waiting patiently um, and obviously listening to all the other callers. I myself just sit patiently and wait but how many times do you get your nails done? How many times do you go on holidays and get yourself all excited for it and it not happening? Um, Anonymous. Anonymous. To not say anything. I'll tell you this, okay? <laughs> your partner loves you. Are you? They don't care about your nails. No one cares about your Instagram post. None of that matters, right? If you want to marry a person, focus on the marriage. They love you as you are. Don't worry about exactly. all the other rubbish. Yeah. Just be yourself and be- and just yeah. wait. Just wait. Yeah. I know. But so it- that's obviously where I'm at now is I'm just waiting. Been a, has there been a holiday? Has there been a moment in the last sort of eight months where you've thought, this is it. This is going to um, be the night. He hasn't taken uh, me out to dinner for months. <laughs> We're going to Nobu tonight. Oh, this is it. Look, there was. There was and it did happen. So that's where you. it's hard when you know about it because when you have an event, holiday or a date night like this other anonymous you're like this is it and it doesn't happen you know what would make all of this a lot easier if that if you are the person who is going to propose to someone could you just hide your stuff a bit better oh. just make more effort a hundred percent don't put anyone in this situation um hey yeah. how about we, we give you a family pass to adventure world and maybe he'll i don't know oh maybe maybe yeah. he but, could do <laughs> but he might ask how'd you win those that prize i was on the on the radio why what were you talking about um oh what a um, great way to broach the um, conversation <laughs> Um, good luck, Anonymous. <laughs> oh, thanks, Pete. Hey, keep us po- can you keep us posted? Like, when he finally does, um, let Okay, look, we'll do. We might be waiting a while. That's fine. It's all right, we'll still be yeah. here. <laughs> um, beautiful day here in Perth. Nothing like over there in the US. Hurricane Milton is about to make landfall in Florida. Six million people have been told to evacuate or die as what is expected to be the worst hurricane in 100 years hits the coast. Our Correspondent David Wowood is about to join us. He's over there covering it. Detecting punishing winds of more than 300 kilometres an hour. If you choose to stay in one of those evacuation areas, you're going to die. Residents racing against time to meet the order. Those in its path know what's coming. They live in Helene just days ago. Because nobody wants to stick around for the next one. If that's a direct hit and it hits us and it hits us on the bad side of the storm, this whole island will be empty. David, how is it feeling there at the moment? This all sounds terrible and a huge number of people to evacuate. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, Look, the good news is that most of those needed those evacuation messages. So we've been seeing that for the past few days uh, of those freeways, chock-a-block as people, you know, pack up the car, pack up the kids and pets and sort of head into the interior of the state and away from this storm system. It is absolutely pummeling uh, the coast right now. It's yet, but we're already copying a fair bit of it. In fact, uh, we are just south of uh, where it is expected to make landfall in a short time. And it's an area that right now experiencing a record number of uh, tornado warnings in addition to this massive hurricane uh, and we went to one of those communities that just got smashed by a tornado just minutes away from where we are uh, we've just seen all these homes the the roofs have been ripped off the houses have just exploded there is rubbish and debris right throughout this uh, this little neighborhood so uh, yeah, it is already happening. We are having the first victims now of this storm, those people who have decided to try and ride this one out. So the humans need because it's really dangerous. What time do the reporters have to get out of there, David? <laughs> Feels like this might be a dangerous well, place actually, for you. Yeah, no, look, the good news is we are actually just on the, on the border. We are inland. We're in a hurricane-rated house. Uh, we're feeling good. The advice is that we can stay. That is the local advice uh, from the authorities. So we are in 
now. Uh, I know of a few others that aren't. Uh, they are telling that story from other places that seem quite dangerous. But, yeah, you don't want to mess around with this. We've seen the total destruction that happened from Hurricane Helene. Now, that was a system that passed through this region, absolutely decimated the coastline, and particularly from that storm surge. That's when it brings in all the Gulf of Mexico, and we're talking metres and metres. It just rips through homes and properties, and uh, that is the real killer. We heard from the Tampa mayor yesterday, and that's a, a town, a city, that is just getting absolutely pummeled right now. Uh, the first early bands of rain are hitting it early. We're kind of in the back pocket, and we are expecting it in a few hours. Uh, and the mayor very clearly, if you stay, you will die. And that was the language that she was using. What's the expectation for people upon their return? When this has gone through... Are they expecting the entire place to be just decimated? That is the advice. Yeah, it's sort of hard to plan, uh, and we don't know exactly it. We think it's going to hit about 80 clicks or so south of a place called Sarasota, which is sort of between us and Tampa, so right in the middle there. Uh, Look, if it does hit there, it's going to absolutely wipe out a whole lot of uh, businesses and homes and communities there. There's no doubt about that. Look, the good news is it has just past hour or so to a Category 3. Now, that might sound like terrific news. It was a Category 5 this time yesterday, but it's still, you know, packing wind speed punches in excess of 200 kilometres an hour, and it's going to have that huge storm surge. But uh, it's also widened in its scope as well. So kind of the strike storm system has got even larger, uh, which is obviously not good news. Wow, that it just sounds so hard to comprehend when you're just thinking that's trying to evacuate people from hospitals and yeah. from, you know, aged residents and that sort of stuff as well. And then if the flow on effect when they've got to come back and rebuild their lives will be dreadful. This of Sarasota right now, David, and it's it's nothing but water. It's all waterways. There's marinas full of boats, which are obviously going to go flying. Mm. There are high rise buildings right on the water there. Like it, it, it looks like it's ripe to cop the worst from something like this. Despite being in a hurricane-proofed house and being told that you're okay where you are, (laughs) you're still feeling a bit scared? No, no. (laughs) No, look, we're feeling really good. We're feeling positive and confident and uh, we're looking out the windows. We're watching the palm trees. They're nearly bending at right angles, but... We're feeling good. We're feeling protected. Good. I'm going to see videos of you hiding in the bath, David. (laughs) Yeah, that'll be me crying in about half an hour. (laughs) As we've come to expect from the big US movies about this sort of stuff as well. Um, Thank you very much for joining us there, mate. Hopefully um, the damage is not as bad as what everybody's thinking and uh, you all stay safe over there. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Talk soon. Transform your home for less. And spring inspiration sale. Save up to 40% off indoor blinds, shop shutters and sheer curtains.